Hey guys, I do have a Monday editorial for you, Monday morning here, <clears throat> and I do have an editorial. Before I even get to that, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. This is all I'm gonna say about it from here on. This is it, this is the end, Nike. But we really got a slap in the face in the national community, the movement of cop watching and First Amendment auditing. We got a slap in the face. Um, I don't want this to stop us. I don't want us to say, oh, okay, let's start questioning each other and say, what's going on? This bus only moves forward. There's no reverse on this thing. We are all looking to make sure that American citizens are treated fairly and equally and that we're afforded our rights as American citizens under the U.S. Constitution. That's what we're doing. We're moving forward. We're pointing out law enforcement officers and public officials that are less than professional or unethical or basic criminals breaking the law. And that's what we do. And this bus only moves forward. That said, let's move forward. Coming out of North Carolina this morning, this is something that uh, this police sergeant was arrested for something that I've done this story so many times in so many police departments and so many law enforcement agencies. And I've done this editorial. And people will say, well, why don't you get people that aren't law enforcement officers that are arrested for this? I did. I did a video last night of somebody that's not a law enforcement officer that was arrested for suspicion of this. But the fact that it's a police sergeant getting arrested for this, that's just a shame. Because what are her subordinate police officers now going to say? Well, Sergeant Sanders got arrested for it. She could do it. And she's been, well, I'm going to get to that in a second. I almost got ahead of myself. Let's go there. Out of Johnston County, North Carolina, a Wilson police officer was placed on administrative duty after being arrested for driving while impaired and speeding early Sunday morning, authorities have said. According to the Wilson Police Department, Trooper C. Best stopped Sergeant C.J. Sanders on Cornwallis Road near the Highway 70 bypass in Johnston County for speeding about 12.30 a.m. Sunday. Sanders was off duty and was driving her own personal vehicle. Her blood alcohol level was 0 .08. Sanders was charged with DWI and speeding 61 mile per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. Now, I mean, a lot of people do that. That's, I mean, it's not too fast, but it is speeding. You get pulled over for that. The thing is, Sanders has been placed on administrative leave pending an internal investigation. And apparently, I believe that's because once you get arrested for this, they take your driver's license and you can't drive until the court hearing and all that and you're found not guilty. Or guilty. All right? So, no driver's license. So that's why she's on administrative duty. So now she either has to take the bus to work or ride a bicycle, or can she even ride a bicycle? Hmm. Yeah, I think she can, because you don't need a driver's license. Or be driven to work. But the thing is, placed on administrative duty. So does this police sergeant, is she still in charge of subordinate officers? Is she still calling the shots from the office there? That's something to ask yourself. Like what kind of respect can she maintain after this, are they really going to respect her? Probably. And say, oh man, that trooper, that trooper, boy, he, he crossed the line arresting one of his own, you know. That's what some would say. I'm not saying that's what they are saying. It's just a hypothesis. But here again, another police officer charged, arrested, I should say, for suspicion of DWI, driving while impaired, and it's a police sergeant. So all you law enforcement officers that are watching this video, you got to stop it. You have to stop it. You, not only are you saying, look, I'm going to drink, I'm not going to drive, but you have to, have to secondarily ask yourself or say to yourself, I'm a cop. I'm a cop. I arrest people for this. I can't do it. I mean, if you're not a cop, you're still not supposed to drink and drive. You drink, you don't drive. That's... Common sense. But when you're a cop, you have to say to yourself, I have arrested people for this. I can't do it. Or, you know, at least, hey, our department is against this. Our department frowns on this activity. Are you really going to go out there and do it? 
Just did a video last night, somebody getting arrested for it. The night before, somebody over here went off the freeway off ramp into a fence. What were they arrested for? Suspicion of DUI. It's this, guys, it doesn't end well. If you go to get a drink, your keys go on the hook or on the nightstand or in the safe, in the refrigerator, wherever you can't get to them. And I know Officer Rob is probably going to come up here and dox me and go, what about you? I haven't drank and drove for several years now. If I start drinking, keys go on the hook, uh, feet go up on the couch. I'm listening to music, dancing around with a wife, whatever. Sometimes we dance silly to funny videos on YouTube. and Yeah, you know, do the old dun, 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 you know. Um, it's Monday, guys. I'm just trying to wake up. But I do want to wake you guys up and tell you, if you drink, don't freaking drive. Wilson Police Department, Sergeant C.J. Sanders arrested, placed on administrative duty for it, pending the internal investigation. I want to know, hey, what's going to happen with if she's found guilty and put on probation for it? Is she still going to be on administrative duty as a police officer? I want to know. It's just a misdemeanor, so it's not a felony. She can still carry her gun. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, I will put a link to the whole story in the description box. Thank you. It's Monday. Let's get ready for the week.